find your zen. What's up? <laughs> I'm going to just start doing my makeup and I think I've done an intro intro already. If not, hello, here's my intro. <laughs> I, I love doing these blog posts dedicated to an idea or a concept. I get to do creative writing, share some links, maybe get some clicks. <laughs> it's not about that though. Really is about just expressing myself creatively through fashion and makeup for Dale Verdial glass primer. I am gonna do an entire video based off of a pair of shoes I was gifted from my husband. He went shopping and he said that he has had this on his mind since he saw an ad for it and knew that since he was going to San Francisco that the Tory Burch store was pretty much central to where he was going to be going. And it sees Tory Burch bubble slides. We're actually gonna do a really fun makeup look together and I don't do makeup here as often. I haven't used a beauty blender in a very long time. I forgot how big and fluffy they get. This thing has been like shriveled up like a ball sack inside of one of my desk drawers for about two years. And so I just gave it a really good rinse. I forgot how like soft and fluffy they are. I have never applied this yet with a beauty blender yet, the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. What I usually do when I buy a new foundation is I'll try it with multiple applicators. So one day I'll do it with a certain type of brush, another day with another type of brush, and I keep doing that until I figure out the best way for it to apply. That, uh, oh, oh, see, it's been a while since I've used a beauty blender. I don't know what happened. I just, I think what it is is that my sink is downstairs and I'm OCD about them being clean every time. I can't have like a partially used, just dampened with setting spray. That's just not enough. I like to get it really wet under the sink and really squeeze it out and get soap going through it and just clean it. I really like that. I think I should have been applying that foundation this whole time with a beauty blender. I'm gonna do the Anastasia Magic Touch Concealer. And I, I wish I had this just one shade lighter as well. I do like this shade, but one shade lighter just in case I lose my tan. And let's try this since it's new. I want to use kind of new stuff with you guys so that we're all playing with some stuff. Yeah, I just haven't been doing a lot of like, so you could fit the blender right in there. That's nice. I don't know how sanitary that is though. This is like a wet, dirty blender. So the plan, the creative process plan will be do my makeup do some cool hair stuff. I have an idea. I want to do like bubbles in my hair. So I need to see if I have any styrofoam balls or just some way to make my hair look like it has bubbles in it. Daydream. I fell asleep in the flowers. For a couple of hours. This is what is on my eyes right now is the daydream lash. I'm going to do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. We're gonna use this, the Sweet Escape, which I've used this palette a lot actually this spring and summer. Still really like it and it's got colors in it that remind me of bubbles. Like how much does Sweet Dreams look like an iridescent bubble? So we're gonna do that. Did I really just get some fallout from that? Wow. So I have my GoPro charging right now. I need to fill up the baby pool. We're gonna make a homemade bubble solution. I need to find my glycerin. Now I'm like really going crazy with it just because I can. And we gotta do my bubble hair. I need to pick out a swimsuit. Maybe it needs a little mystify. That's the only thing about this packaging is I love it for the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow. Ultra Fine Mist, I love the applicator and everything, but you have to remember to put the lid back on to be able to set it down. Otherwise it just, bleh, it just rolls right off your vanity. All right, so that's just using the little Sephora. It's called Satin Corset. I'm using that just closer to the inner corner. So the question will be, do I want to do silver or gold? What would go with this? I think silver. You're right. This is just a little two-headed, different sized jewel stone picker upper <laughs> yeah so anyway i don't know i just wanted to talk about vanderpump cause, like is anybody else watching it obviously everybody's been watching it here's the thing too whenever i start a new show if i'm behind on the season it's already aired and it's already like finaled but i'm just now watching it i will not follow the people from the show until it's over because I don't want spoilers. Love Island. Usually Love Island is like completely uploaded to Hulu, the whole thing from beginning to end. The whole time I'm so curious to look them up on Instagram, but I know that if I do that, it's gonna spoil it. Like with uh, Davide and Ekansu, I was like, God, I wanna look up Ekansu on Instagram so bad. And I'm glad I didn't because the very first thing pinned to the top of her whole thing is like her and Davide winning. So I was like, 
Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't want to peek. Yeah, I just like haven't been able to look up anybody, but finally now that I'm on the last season, I was able to look up Lala, a few other of the people who are no longer, oh, I didn't look up Kristen, what's she doing? Just some people aren't on the show this season, doesn't mean that they're not coming back unless they did something. Okay, so I bronzed up and I just put on a little bit of blush and it's actually the Sephora one that I got in the Christmas advent calendar, the Christmas one. I'm gonna be doing that again because I got a couple of things in it that I really liked. I just hope they don't repeat. I wouldn't think that they would, that would be stupid. So the color is called Shame On You and it's just a really good peachy pink do this first because i find that when i spray and my hair my face is a little damp when i put the highlight on it just brightens it up i lean back like that so i don't get it on the camera <laughs> i don't normally do that when i'm just alone so let's highlight while that's still a little what i like i have to get a, a lot on the brush so it really just packs it on on top without, um, if it's not enough on the brush and you're rubbing too hard, it could mess up your makeup a little bit. So you just want to get a lot on in that moment of wetness. Water is the essence of wetness. My nose look whiter than it is. You want to keep it like centered. If your highlight gets too like wide across your nose and it'll make it look flat in the center. And we always want to minimize the bridge of the nose, not widen it. Cause then it'll look like a weird, you know what I mean? look bulbous. I want my lip to look like bubble gum. So I am going to take a few things here. We're going to go in with this beige pop Clinique. This was a holiday edition. The lip plumping gloss in nearly nude by Iconic London. I'm actually going to hold off doing that because I need to eat some breakfast still. So I don't want to gloss up my lip if I'm going to have some food. But then also we're going to use the Dominate Cosmetics Crush Liner. So I couldn't find my balls. I have a bag of styrofoam balls somewhere for said weird projects and I can't find them. But as you can see, I didn't really have any trouble making bubbles in my hair. I just use those little small plastic elastic bands. That's perfect and look how cute. I actually really like the look of it. I might do this more often for no reason. While I was looking for my balls, I found I was about to purchase these. Holy cow, <laughs> that's so many. I was about to buy a whole set and I don't need to. I have more nails than I know what to do with. I'm so glad I found that. So those are just some good press-ons. I'm gonna just keep doing the press-on thing because they last me about a week and the new nail glue seems to be working pretty good and I don't think I have an allergy to it. In order to make a homemade bubble solution, most of the recipes I saw called for glycerin. And just as a makeup artist and using glycerin for random stuff. So first of all, he brought the bag like this and it came in this really cool shoe box. So this is what the box looks like and they're called the Bubble Jelly. Island Blue Firefly Size 8 Bubble Jellies. Here are the shoes. Little Tory Burch and they have the Tory Burch, Burch little logo on them. So I have a lot of suits. Fluorescent colors. Ooh, I have yellow. Do I have to, should it be yellow? You know what's great about this is that this bathing suit top actually looks like a shirt. Isn't the top so cute? I forgot. Honestly, it's very boobalicious. Shorts, top. The only thing about this is it keeps wanting to do this. That kind of drives me insane, but wow, it really makes my boobs look good. Okay, so I actually changed the outfit because I didn't want to wear head to toe Shein or fast fashion. As you guys know, I like to incorporate things that are thrifty or vintage into my outfits, and so I didn't want it to be all Shein. So I actually changed into this. This is a suit from Shein. It's actually a suit set, so it's little shorts, and then underneath is a pair of really tiny bikinis which I would never wear just those out because they're like a strip of material. This top I got thrifting at a lovely antique store in Everett, Washington if you saw that video. I've been wanting to put it to good use. It's very Golden Girls chic and I love that and yeah it's my granny cover up. It's got little 
flowers on it. Fendi sunglasses are from The Real Real. I get all of my designer sunglasses from them. They're highly discounted, so you can get them for super cheap. So I have Dior, Fendi, Balmain, like all of them I think I got for less than $40. Never did I think I would ever be able to own a collection of designer sunglasses, let alone these brands. And you guys know me and The Real Real like this. We like this. All right, so I do want to go get the pool started to get um, some water in it. So let's go fill that up right now and the sun's out so I'm really hoping that doesn't ruin the picture look at that lighting I should just do my makeup in the kitchen because that is like the best lighting ever how you can see it so beautiful hmm still got it <laughs> I'm like housewife pretty, you know what I mean? Like where you're like over the age of 35 and then it's like you go from being that youthful, glorious, like 20, 30 something and then you hit like housewife pretty where you were a beautiful, well-rounded, timeless beauty. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I just, I feel pretty, oh, so pretty. Take advantage of these moments because most of the time I feel ugly because I have been sitting around in sweats all day without makeup on and haven't showered. <laughs> Here's the thing. I did screenshot how to make homemade bubble solution. It comes from homesciencetools.com. I'll put it up here if anybody else would like to screenshot it. Measure six cups of water into your container. Pour a cup of dish soap into the water. That's too much. I need to bring this down significantly. This is for a photo. I don't need that much dish soap and that much water. I'll probably do like splash here, splash there. Okay, and then soap is mixed in. Be careful not to let foam or bubbles form. Measure a tablespoon of glycerin or a quarter of a cup of corn syrup and add it to the container. Stir the solution until it's well mixed. Now here's the thing. I'm going to want to do this actually in a bowl because I also googled clever different ways to make bubbles without a bubble wand. I know bubbles aren't very expensive but I'm not really in the mood to go to the store. I just got the bubble idea this morning. <laughs> I'm surprised I don't have any just because when you attend weddings now instead of throwing... I just bit my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking I would just make the mixture in this bowl and I was seeing that funnels make really good bubble makers because you could literally dip it and then blow and I want the bubbles to just be in the photo so I'm gonna have to dip, blow, and then hit the button and I want the bubbles to just be part of the makeup. But first, Devonshire cream. I got a bowl of berries. I mean, it's $10. I don't know why I spent $10 on Devonshire cream dip. Don't grocery shop hungry. GoPro is good. I've been able to connect to the app, so we're moving on to the soap portion of the video where we're gonna do bubbles. I live for this stuff. I live for getting something, anything, object, food, drink, clothing, shoes, makeup give me one thing and i will center an entire video around it and live my creative fantasy i wish more people watched this type of content because i have so much fun making it i would love to do it more often as a job you know make these little videos watch my videos all the way through and give them a thumbs up <laughs> that really and then tell people if you know people are into my kind of stuff share it with them uh it really helps me <laughs> help I am the bubble master. Look at this thing. Now, I don't know how in the world I'm gonna get them to not I mean maybe I'll be able to just like get the photo like up close. Oh <laughs> because the bubble is gonna be for the makeup, so I wanna have like bubbles around my face while I take photos of the makeup. I'm a bubble queen! I'm a bubble queen! Okay. That's cool. Let me see if there's something else I can bubble with. Okay, I have this. Wonder if I can bubble with that. The wire. Haha! Uh. Sienna, Nye, the science. 
chip. I also don't want to accidentally like swallow the bubbles because then I will shit my pants. <laughs> soap, you do not want to ingest soap. Ah, look, look, look. Do you see it in there? Okay, I'm just gonna hold the bowl. Hold the bowl. <laughs> Game of Thrones part three. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. It's working. I'm gonna apply the gloss now. And I want my lips to be very, very pinky juicy. Ooh, what's that? I love doubling up on perfume for the vibe. And what I mean by that is that this is garden citrus like a rose garden by the beach. That's the vibe. So just because I'm so floral, but I'm also wearing summer clothes and this is about like summer floats, floaty shoes. I went with the Atelier, Atelier Cologne Lemon Island fragrance. It's such a beachy smell. It smells like suntan lotion, lemon, coconut, not really too much coconut, like a dash. And uh, yeah. It's just got this really kind of Italian villa by a lemon orchard on the water feel. <laughs> Is that a thing? <laughs> Sienna describes a perfume commercial. You know how ridiculous they are. You know, it's like Johnny Depp driving down the street reflecting on like, you know, a Hunter S. Thompson quote. It's just very involved. <laughs> and then Le de Rose. Le, Le de, Le, Le de Rose. Eh, whatever. I'm not very good at my French accent anymore. And then I have the Fendi sunglasses that I was going to do a few photos with them on, a few photos with them off, see which one I prefer, but it does complete the outfit. Feeling myself today, you guys. I'm telling you. Coming out of your rut. <sighs> When you've been home, kind of in a funk for a couple of weeks, honestly, I feel like I've been in a funk. That's why last week I just did a little video of like my house tour because I didn't feel like vlogging. I just was in a funk, in a mental funk. And uh, sometimes that happened. One thing I did was three days in a row, I started my morning with my coffee outside and actually sat in the sunshine and spent about 10 minutes just reflecting on how I'm feeling, why I'm feeling this way, and how I can lift myself back up and feel better. So I just tried to really switch my mental health. Not switch it, I don't wanna force it. I'm, I want to also let myself feel how I need to feel. If I'm sad, that's okay. If I'm depressed, that's okay. But I just wanna make sure I'm able to get myself out of it. You know what I mean? I don't wanna live in that space. You don't wanna let that take over your life because it can very easily keep you in a dark place. So trying to like get yourself out of it, lift yourself back up by your bootstraps and get back out there and get her. <laughs> That's where I'm at. So the Four Sigmatic Balance Organic Mushroom Blend. I've shown this to you before. I like it a lot. I put it in my coffee every morning and it's just, why is it not focusing? There we go. Come on, Cletus, it says here, for stress relief and cognitive support. Lord knows I need some cognitive support. <laughs> My brain right now is mush. I feel like ever since COVID, I've had brain fog really bad and I've also been really stressed out. I don't know if that's because I had COVID or if it was just the whole pandemic in general wearing down my mental health. And I'm not usually someone who gets in so wrapped up into things that I let it affect me that heavily. But I just feel like every day I just really absorb bad news and all the things in the news that are just terrible and I let it get me and it's I can't let it affect me that deeply you know what I mean because it's not getting anything done none of it's getting anything done so anyway I just wanted to share that in case you two feel like you need just anything I mean honestly I'll do anything to try to feel better mentally so that's what I've been doing let's go outside and get this video going
being outside in the sun and like how it just it just sweats your makeup <laughs> I mean duh it's sweat but it's hot out there got hot got it's got Pacific Northwest hot that's like 80 <laughs> Alexa what's the temperature outside right now right now it's 72 degrees Fahrenheit 72 Perfect. It actually feels really good in the shade. It's just when you stand in the sun and you're just sitting there getting baked, it feels a lot hotter. And it's so windy that the bubbles kept just blowing away or popping right away. So I really struggled with the bubbles. It's hot. I'm very hot. Here's how the photos turned out. I'm going to guess I did a good job. I don't know yet because I haven't seen them. The video was fun to make. The shoes are super fun. As soon as they get wet and you walk in them, you sound like a farting frog, <laughs> as all jelly shoes do, but at least they're cute, you know what I mean? And please go check out the blog, give it a little read. I usually have some really fun tips in there. I'm always trying to add things that are useful to you guys and to my audience so that you you can learn something or get a little trick out of it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!